Steeped in history and rich in angling lore, Lakewood Camps is one of only a few traditional Maine sporting camps left in existence. Generations of woodsmen, anglers, and families have made the journey to the camp's remote location in search of adventure, sport, and relaxation. The camp was established in 1853 and back then was called Angler's Retreat. As is the case today, the easiest way in and out of camp was by boat. The name was changed to Lakewood Camps in 1909 and after the large main building burned in 1957, it was replaced shortly thereafter with the lodge you see today. Although a good many things have changed dramatically since those early days, much has remained the same, and guests would have it no other way. A typical visit begins at our private dock on the south arm of Lower Richardson Lake. After a short but scenic boat ride, guests are greeted by our friendly staff and helped ashore with their belongings. Although most of our 12 named cabins look similar from the outside, each has its own special charm. Quaint, rustic, cozy, and quirky are all terms that have been used to describe them. For some, it's love at first sight. For others, less than level takes them getting used to. But whatever the initial reaction, by the end of their stay, guests come around to offering us just one single suggestion about the accommodations. Don't change a thing. With your gear stowed, step out onto the porch and take a good look around. The camp, the lake, the river and the woods are all yours to enjoy and how you choose to enjoy them is completely up to you. The camp's main lodge is a single-story rambling affair that acts as a meeting place and the hub of camp activity. Three exceptional meals are served daily in our spacious and well-appointed dining hall. Even with all there is to do at Lakewood Camps, most of our guests arrive with one thing on their minds, fly fishing. And there's no better place to become absolutely immersed in it. Total novice or seasoned traveling angler, eight years old or 80, there's something for everyone. The names Middle Dam, Pond in the River, and Lower Dam have long been considered hallowed ground by fly fishermen. All are most easily accessed from Lakewood camps. Fly fishermen have been drawn here for more than a century by the possibility of landing the brook trout of a lifetime. Not an overgrown hatchery fish, but a real, honest to goodness, stream born and bred Maine square tail. While lacking some of the brook trout's overall appeal, the area's waters are also home to a robust population of landlocked salmon, a fabulous sport fish in their own right. Some of our more experienced angling guests feel comfortable enough to go out alone on the river. But many recognize the numerous benefits of hiring a guide, if not for their entire stay, at least for a day or two. It would take most anglers a couple of months to accumulate the experience gained during a single day of guided fishing. Whether you come to Lakewood camps for the fly fishing or simply to relax, free of the stresses of the outside world, make sure to leave time to take in the subtle beauty of the Maine wilderness. For many of our guests, these are the sights, sounds, and smells they keep them coming back year after year. <laughs>